Good morning. Well, it's a good morning for us. I don't know when you're watching this, but it is uh, today's an exciting day. Yeah. You know why? It's leaving day. It's my birthday. And it's your birthday! It is my birthday. <laughs> she didn't remember it's my birthday. Yes, I do. <laughs> I turned 42 today. Big old 4-2. Uh, prime birthdays are usually my better birthdays, so like 41, that was a good birthday. Mm. I think 41 is a prime number. I don't know. Somebody's going to correct me, but 42, <laughs> I know it's not a prime birthday, so. It's an even birthday. Yeah, it's just going to be a, it's going to be a day. It's going to be a day filled with lots of packing, lots of cleaning. We've got a mess in here, a big mess. Yeah. And we kind of put it off. Yesterday was packing and cleaning for the restaurant, the lodge, and, and we the store. Tired. <laughs> got tired. By the time we were done with that, about three or four o'clock. Went and had a drink with, with our boss friend, amazing, and her family, and that was worth the whole afternoon of just enjoying the beautiful weather. So what we get for our procrastination and enjoying the beautiful weather is... It's cleaning last minute. Cleaning last minute. <laughs> but it is leaving day. It is leaving day. <laughs> I am excited about that. We're going to be leaving this wonderful spot where we've been parked for five months, a little over five months, which is crazy to yeah, think. It's really crazy. But it is funding a dream for us and we're excited to be able to share that dream with you. So we're not gonna show you everything that we're gonna do, but you should get a before and after. <laughs> yep. Huckleberry has also been um, worrying us lately. He's been thrown up and it's been a full day of that. So we always worry. We, we let the dogs go out and roam and we love that because we're in the woods and that's what they do, but they find bad stuff sometimes to get into. So we always worry he's got something inside of him that, that's not coming out. And uh, and so we're gonna get him checked out. But that's why his food's there. And then there's the floor. And then there's the desk again. Oh, and then there's the TV. And my second or third closet, all the throwaway pillows. That's easy, we can just make the, the couch. Here's the couch. It's got dogs on it. What dogs? Whose dogs? You feeling okay, buddy? He's acting you okay. Go back out. You you doing okay? Can't have a day without coffee. Except we don't know where our coffee cups are. Why don't we know where our coffee cups are? I have are? no idea. I don't either. <laughs> Somebody broke in and stole our coffee cups. And then there's the bedroom and the bathroom. And what a mess. What a mess. What a mess. I haven't even gone outside to show you what's got going on outside. Um, but we, we hunkered down. That was the fun part uh, about being here was we made this place feel very, very comfortable. And so now we have to make it feel uncomfortable by packing everything up into a tiny space. Again, we'll talk more about our work camping opportunity, why we chose this place, how it went for us, um, and, and how you can find jobs like these. It's been phenomenal for us. It's been a game changer for the last two years where um, we were running out of money. And what do you do when you run out of money? You go to work. Well, that's what you should do. You go to work. And so that's what we've done. And uh, now we got a nice little bit of savings to get us some cushion on the road as we make our way south. If you're in the northern states, you're going to see a lot of bad weather this week. It is October 23rd. So whenever you watch this, you can remember back to that terrible first winter storm that came through. In fact, it's so terrible. We were gonna go to Wyoming. Thermopolis, yeah. Our favorite small town in Thermopolis. We've got dear friends over there we haven't seen since we left last summer, the beginning of last summer, to come out here. And we were going to go visit for a couple days, and it's going to be in the teens for three or four days straight. Yep. That's no thank you. Yep. We're not equipped for that. Our, our camper's not equipped for that. Nope. Um, it's not even, I don't even think it's insulated for two seasons. I think it's one season is get the hell down to Baja. <laughs> That's the season that we have rated for our RV. So we can't do the teens. So we're going to be heading south. And believe it or not, Colorado in the mountains is going to be it's warmer warmer <laughs> than Wyoming. Yeah. So we're going to head down there so to, we're going to, go to Colorado with the just at freezing temperatures instead of <laughs> way below freezing temperatures. And then uh, yeah. from there, I think we're going to make our way west to Utah. But we're not going to talk in the future. We're going to talk in the present. The present is I got to put this thing down and get to work. So. Hopefully, next time we check in, we've got some progress, and yeah, we'll see what happens. We are making progress two hours later. Uh, I'm starting to tinker outside. Got pretty much all of our junk put away. I mean junk, it's stuff. It's things that we use, um, but a big pile of trash as well is going to go. Um, out here, there are some things that I've got to take care of. Uh, I'll show you the extended stay. 
that's a game changer for us when we're staying a long time in places. So uh, I got to disconnect that. I'm gonna stow away the tank. I've also got the cover to take off. We're gonna get rid of these tire covers. And one thing that uh, we didn't ever mention was we had mice when we were here last year toward the end of the season. And so this year we invested in some cheap string lights, some outdoor Christmas lights, and we ran them up and down through the engine bay and around the tires where the, the mice would climb up. And this year we haven't had any mice problems. So I got to crawl underneath there and untangle all of the string lights. And then of course we have all of our connections. We save that to the very end. So we've got our power, our water, and our sewer connections, and good old Starlink. We'll probably pack Starlink up because we're not using the internet for anything right now. We are packing and cleaning, um, but Starlink is one of the last things that usually goes. It's got its own box and we just store it away by um, the bed, pull it out every day. It's kind of annoying, you'll see that process, but it's great because Starlink is a game changer for us on the road. And right now I put vinegar water or vinegar into our water tank to clean the tank, as well as to run it through our hot water heater and uh, right now we're just flushing out we're, we're going to fill up the tank twice and flush out the water so we get all the vinegary taste out of the water we don't drink water from our holding tank but we use it to brush our teeth and cook and things like that so it's nice to not have that strong vinegar odor to it so when we get back at it we should hopefully be out of here in about 45 minutes we've got laundry our last load of laundry is drying and then uh, that's our timer. As soon as it's done, we want to get going. Quick update on Huckleberry. He has gone off to the vet. Lindsay's dropping him off. Um, there's a great vet here in Custer, South Dakota that we've been taking the dogs to to get them um, taken care of every time we've been here last year, this year, um, and now for, I wouldn't call it an emergency, but an urgent situation. So Huck gets to spend the day at the vet while we pack up and clean up and hit the road down to um, our friend's house. And then we'll just go back and pick them up and hopefully there's nothing crazy that they see. Um, we do have dog insurance, pet insurance, which um, this isn't a video about that. We're not sponsored by them, but um, it is something that we came across and said, well, we have Australian cattle dogs. We treat them like our kids, which sounds dumb if you're not a dog person, but if you're a dog person, then you totally relate. Our dogs get the absolute best care they can. The way I kind of look at it is they didn't choose to come into the world. We chose to bring them into the world by, you know, wanting them and placing a demand for somebody to bring this dog into the world. And so just like a child, they depend upon us to give them, the, give them our best. And so this is our best. Anytime our dogs are experiencing any kind of pain or difficulty, we take care of them right away. It doesn't matter the cost. There's, there's no budget for taking care of our dogs. Um, but the insurance does cap that. So the insurance kind of limits that. So we have a $500 deductible, which means we won't go over $500 even if he requires multiple thousands of dollars worth of surgery. So we're obviously we're praying for the best for him, um, for our wallets, of course, for Everest who misses her buddy. We, um, you know, we want this to be something simple and quick and easy so we can get on the road and Huckleberry can live his best life because he lives his best life on the road. We, we say we're pursuing abundant life on the road. He has abundant life when we're on the road. He's just an awesome dog. So I'm hurting for him. And uh, yeah, this was just a little, a little update and a little plug for considering if you are a dog person, um, consider getting your pet's insurance. It's, uh, it is not cheap. It's, uh, I think, I think we pay $75 a month for each of, or for the dogs total, something around there, right around $1,000 a year. Um, but for cattle dogs, it's a must, especially if they start getting older um, and can have some, some ligament issues. So Huckleberry's off. That means Lindsay's getting out of cleaning. We flipped a coin to see who got to drive him because whoever drove Huck to the vet didn't have to work on the cleaning. I lost that, so I'm gonna get to the cleaning. <sighs> We were finally cleaned up. Look how pretty it looks. Oh, we deep cleaned, put a bunch of stuff away, and uh, it took longer than we wanted it to, but we were finally done. Um, yeah, it's leaving time. It's leaving time. Cleanish, 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 cleanish. Oh, look, it's cleanish. Oh, bed's made, but there's stuff on the bed. No worries. There's always stuff on the bed. We gotta get used to life on the road again. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we gotta roll off the blocks, as you know, being level is important. So we're gonna roll off the blocks, load them up. That's the last thing we gotta load up. And we're gonna hit the town, go load up on gas. Oh, no word back from Huck yet. So 
we're still prayerful that uh, things go well and they get him in for x-rays and there's nothing there. He's just maybe got the puppy flu. We just rolled off the blocks, got everything packed up, and the doctor called, the vet called for Lindsay about Huckleberry, so she's on the phone right now. Pancreatitis. Okay, but yeah, he got a bone. He got a bone. And it ruptured it, or no? It's he said it's it's chewed pretty good. So all right, so the vet. So update on Huckleberry. I just talked with the vet. She was very thorough. They did blood work. They found um, elevated levels that show that he had a bout of pancreatitis which basically they eat something that's too fatty that can cause that. Unfortunately, once something like that happens, they usually tend to have it for life. So, um, she's gonna send him home with low fat food and uh, trying to think what else. Um, he was a little dehydrated probably from all the puking, so they gave him fluids. Uh, they did an x-ray and they saw some gas bubbles and then she saw little bits of bone but she said it was chewed up nicely she thinks they're small enough that they should either come out of the other end fine or come up by puking um and she said she doesn't think that there'll be an issue but there's also that that it could be um but she said they do look very small and uh, that he should be hopefully okay passing that. Um, she did give him anti-nausea meds and then gave him a little bit of food and he ate. Uh, but she does not want to send him home with anti-nausea because she doesn't want to mask. She doesn't want to keep him from, if he needs to throw up the bones, that he should throw them up. And giving him the anti-nausea would stop that. So that's where we're at. He should be okay. He shouldn't need surgery. But so pancreatitis is just treated with... It's, he needs to be on low fat. That's how it's treated. Okay. That's why you don't, when you have turkey Thanksgiving dinner, you never give dogs turkey or skin or anything like that because that can cause it. And that's probably what he got into was probably no, fried chicken or... No surgery though, it's just... I don't think so. Just no. let, it, just, let it run its course. She said she wanted them to come back in and have an x-ray in the morning. Yeah. Um, and then she said blood work to check for the pancreatitis in a week. Okay. So. Well, we get our boy back. Yep, she said after two, which it's yeah. 147, so <laughs> it takes us 30 minutes to get into town, so, yeah. Okay. Happy birthday, Chris. <laughs> I get a big vet bill for my birthday, <laughs> but I get my boy back, and that's the important part. Not about money, it's about his health. Yeah, we, well, we've yeah. we've taken the dogs to this place last year, this year. They are phenomenal. Yeah. So uh, let's get uh, let's go pick them up. Yeah. Uh. I'll load it up. Well, it is bittersweet leaving this place. It's been good to us two years in a row, and it feels weird not having Lindsay here. But there we go. Goodbye, Lodge. Hello Everest. This is her driving position. She likes my shoulder. So we have about 20-25 minutes to go pick up the dog, Huckleberry, and we're gonna get some gas. I think I've said that already. Nice little twisty turny road. While we're here, we had a great mechanic go through and check everything for us. We got new brakes which is important when you're driving the roads we know we're driving now and the roads we know we're gonna be facing when we get to Baja. I'm looking forward to that. Right now I'm a little anxious. It's been a while since I've driven this thing. We did take it out about four or five weeks ago just to make sure everything was good and it was running and got it to the mechanic and all that stuff. So, um, but now we're all loaded up 
and we didn't leave anything behind, I hope. Uh, so everything that we own is now packed back in here, and Lindsay's in the CRV behind me. She's, uh, she's keeping an eye on if anything's going off or bad or whatever, if anything falls off. So, uh, yeah, it's always, always anxious. I'm a super anxious person. I'm very uh, A-type personality, very, very, very driven, perfectionist, want things to go right, get upset, get cranky, throw things when they don't go right. So I'm always anxious about our home on wheels. Um, she is, I, I was, I was a senior in high school when this thing was getting put together. So it's been, uh, it's been a while that this thing's been out there. We've done what we can to keep it going. We've invested in maintenance and all that, but it still makes me a little anxious on the road. In about a day or two, I'll calm down and get back to the excitement of the road. But for now, I'm going to put the camera away. The twisty turnies are, uh, they require full attention. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Everest, signing off. Let's go get your brother. What do you say? Wanna go get Huckleberry? Let's go get him. Well, we got Huckleberry back, $502.19 later. We met our deductible with Lemonade Insurance. Um, but even more important, Huckleberry is happy to be home. He's healthy for the most part. He has pancreatitis, so no more fats for him. He got into some trash apparently up the hill. That's my fault for letting him go out and roam a little bit but uh, apparently he's got some bones in him that he's still got to pass, so they're either gonna come up or they're gonna go down. And uh, yeah, so I'm following Lindsay right now. We're going through some beautiful land. We love this place. I think we've shared that with you, but it is gorgeous all around in the Black Hills. If we had any kind of money, we'd probably not be called to wander. We'd be called to buy a place, a small ranch, and be South Dakotans. This place is pretty spectacular, so. Anyway, we're on our way to our friend, my old boss, I can say old boss because I don't work there anymore. Um, Teresa and Dave and their grandkids. We're gonna go spend my birthday there. They're cooking dinner for us and dessert. Gonna have a good time. I'm not gonna put any of that on camera. That's something about us. We, uh, we have learned to be okay on camera, but we don't put our friends or family on camera. So you can't see it right now, but Huckleberry's got his head out, the, out of the window of the car. He's. He's feeling good. He's happy to be back.